Hi guys and welcome to our channel Techline. Have you decided to get an Android phone, whether you need a high-end gaming phone, a budget phone, or a cheap phone, if you're looking for the best, you are at the right place. So let's check it out. 5. Google Pixel 4. One of the best Android camera phones thanks to a combination of great camera software and a quality camera sensor. That's even more impressive considering it's one of the few single camera setups left on the market. The Pixel 4 family pack high-end specs like the Snapdragon 855 paired with 6GB of RAM, but that's not what makes these phones stand out. The Pixel series has always been great at photography. The Pixel 4 camera captures more detail than the Pixel 3 series, handles white balance even better, and improves on HDR, portrait mode, and selfies. Night Sight, Google's name for night mode, is also better this time around than it was in the Pixel 3 series, and Google now offers a killer feature called astrophotography mode. When in night mode, if the Pixel 4 detects the light is low enough and the sky is visible it will enter astrophotography mode automatically. It then takes up to 16-15 second long exposures, aligns and tweaks them in the background and pops out the kind of astrophotography you normally only get from a fancy DSLR and a lot of editing. The results speak for themselves and are truly incredible. On the downside, there's no ultra-wide sensor, unlike the iPhone 11 series and many flagship Android devices. Google also doesn't prioritize video. While the iPhone 11 has 4K at 60fps on its front-facing camera, the Pixel 4 still doesn't even support it on its primary camera. The Pixel 4 shoots decent-looking 1080p video at 30, 60, and 120fps but you can only shoot 4K at 30fps. Bottom line, if video is important to you, the Pixel 4 might not be the best option. As for the rest of the experience? The Pixel would be nearly perfect but suffer from well below average battery life. 4. Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro Xiaomi has been in the phone-making game for long enough now that we always expect a stylish and sleek phone from the company, and that is again the case with the Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro. It's a really lovely looking bit of glass and metal, especially in the glacier blue color we reviewed carbon black and red flame are also available. The spacious 6.39-inch Super AMOLED screen runs at a resolution of 1080 by 2340 pixels, and really pops. It banishes bezels right to the edge of the screen, achieving a screen-to-body ratio of 86.1%, that's not the best in the business, but it's very good nevertheless. With a Snapdragon 855 chipset running the show, the CPU of choice for high-end Android flagships this year, and up to 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage available inside the Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro, there won't be many faster or more powerful phones in 2020. The camera is an important part of any phone and the triple lens 48 megapixel plus 1 3 megapixel plus 8 megapixel camera around the back of the phone really impresses. It might not have the software smarts of something like a Pixel, but it's fast and accurate, colors are well represented, pictures are sharp and crisp, and low light performance is respectable. The special night mode gets some very good results too, but you do need to keep the camera still for longer. Without looking at the price, you'd weigh up the Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro and say it's one of the best phones of the year, the design is top-notch, the specs are all pleasingly powerful, and the camera delivers the goods too. Add in that affordable price point, and the phone becomes a very tempting proposal indeed. 3. OnePlus 7T Pro OnePlus has always made stylish-looking handsets, since way back in 2014 when it first got started with the OnePlus One. That design heritage shines through in the OnePlus 7T Pro, from the 6.67-inch, 1,440x3,120-pixel, 19.5, 9-aspect ratio, AMOLED screen, to the pop-up motorized selfie camera. If there has been a key weakness in OnePlus handsets of years gone by, it's been in the camera, but the phone maker has caught up here, too, the OnePlus 7T Pro takes excellent photos in almost every lighting situation. You don't need to worry about the triple lens 48 megapixel plus 1 3 megapixel plus 8 megapixel rear camera letting you down at all. The OnePlus 7T Pro boasts some of the best smartphone specs you're going to come across this year, a Snapdragon 855 plus processor, 8GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage, there's no memory card slot for expanding that unfortunately. 
Some more storage configurations would be nice, but we can live without them. We're big fans of Oxygen OS, the software that OnePlus develops itself, and which here is based on Android 10. It's clean and tidy, bloat-free, and has a design approach that even Google could take some tips from. OnePlus phones have been quick to get Android updates in the past too, so that's something else you don't have to worry about. 2. Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus With the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, Samsung has tried to incorporate all things best into their flagship model. The screen has been extended to 6.8 inches until there's virtually no bezel and things look brighter and better with the AMOLED display. However, images, texts and icons matte appear to be sharper on the Mate 20 from Huawei due to three sub-pixels in every pixel on its IPS display. The phone also features Snapdragon 855, one of the most powerful processors in the market, and 12GB of RAM with a massive battery to bring out all that performance. In terms of specs, you may see a lot of similarities with the Galaxy S10 family. However, using it is a completely different experience thanks to the S Pen stylus. Along with the phone, this stylus has a new design and has some new tricks up its sleeve. Navigate the phone while you gesture with the S Pen in mid-air. Air actions are something that would grow on you and even if you don't want to hover the stylus in the air, you can't deny the usefulness of transferring documents and PDFs to other devices with a simple motion in the air. The camera is one of the rare features that was disappointing. The quad camera setup is nice and clicks great pictures. However, the competition beats it by a wide margin. The front camera doesn't just lack in megapixels but has a narrow aperture when it comes to other models like the Mate 20. Just like most of the Samsung Galaxy Note and S series devices, it also comes with a hybrid SIM plus SD card slot. It means you can use one slot for SIM card, and the other slot can be either used as an SD card slot or for SIM card. So if you wish you to use it as a dual SIM phone then consider getting a high storage variant. 1. Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus Samsung's Galaxy S line side steps perfection with the polarizing Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. The S20 phones are super powerful, but also super expensive. There's little the S20 Plus can't do. Featuring the Snapdragon 865, a massive 12GB of RAM, and a 6.7-inch 120Hz AMOLED panel with an Infinity O punch hole, this is a powerhouse, though some argue it isn't exactly attractive. This high-performance machine packs only the best of the best, including a variety of storage options, a 4,500 mAh battery that's more than capable of making it through the day, and rapid wired and wireless charging. More importantly, Samsung overhauled the camera system in a way that's exciting and appealing. The new camera has a feature called Space Zoom that allows you to zoom in up to 30x. It also has bokeh video shooting, 8K video capture, and all the other bells and whistles to keep people creating. Once the focusing bug is sorted out via software update, it should be the camera to beat. If you don't need a giant phone and still want a similar Galaxy S20 Plus experience, you should absolutely check out the Samsung Galaxy S20. It's smaller, cheaper, and easier to use. Conversely, if you want it all, the biggest of the best, then be sure to take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. So what did you guys? Let us know in the comments section below, and if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit like button and bell icon so you get notified of future uploads.